This video will show you how to configure your tolerance settings. Uh, currently I'm using a piling machine just because it has one additional setting that drilling doesn't have. So first I'll go into the home icon, go to system setup, and then I'll find tolerance settings. So when you finish a hole or pile, you'll see a ring form around it that'll have three parts. Um, one part deals with the horizontal tolerance, one part deals with the vertical tolerance, and the third part of it deals with the inclination tolerance, the 3D inclination tolerance. So that's what three, these three settings are right here, and those can be changed at any time. And then your cut fill bar tolerance will be um, the distance that is considered to be on level. So it'll be showing green if it's within this distance of the the target and as it gets outside of this tolerance it'll change to a different color depending on if it's cut or fill. Uh, and then for piling specifically you've got your rotation tolerance. So this will come into play when you've got some kind of shape pile whether it's a, an H or I shape or, or a sheet where it's actually got to be rotated a certain way. You'll see in the bullseye view a small green wedge that represents the, the orientation that you're supposed to be facing. And as you increase or decrease this tolerance, that green wedge will increase and decrease as well. Uh, lastly, we've got a, a hard-coded setting for a quarter, half, and one degree for the pitch and roll bars. So what this will do is change the size of the, the green area in the pitch and roll bars, uh, whether you're, you want to chase a tighter tolerance or you're okay with being up to one degree off, uh, you, can, you can change that green setting so that as an operator you can know that if, if I'm within the green, I'm within my tolerance.